This is example four star. This example may be different from your notes. We are given now f of xy equal to half times x squared minus y squared. Find the slope of the surface z equal to f of xy in the x direction at the point 1, negative 2. Before I answer the question, I'm going to do a demonstration by using Mathematica. This can be found in the website demonstrationwolfram.com slash partial derivatives in 3D. This is how a surface f of xy equal to half times x squared minus y squared looks like. I can turn the surface around, let you have a view how this thing looks like. You have an x-axis, y-axis, and a z-axis, and this is how the surface looks like. We are going to find the slope of the surface in the x direction at the point 1, negative 2 means x equal to 1, y equal to negative 2. Let's try to figure out where is this point. Let's turn the graph so that you can see clearly the x-axis. And I want x equal to 1. So I adjust the value of x from the slider and move the x until x equal to 1. So at this point, I have x equal to 1. Now I need to set my y to minus 2. Let's turn the graph around until I got a y-axis. And now I adjust my y to negative 2. So this is the point y equal to negative 2, x equal to 1. So I have found out where is the point x equal to 1, y equal to negative 2. And then you can find out where is the value of z. In this case, z is negative because z equal to half of x squared minus y squared. So you find that this is negative 3 over 2, which is below the plane z equal to 0. Now, what does it mean by the slope of the surface in the x direction? That means a point on the surface on 1 minus 2 must move along the x direction. Then we can find out what is the rate of change, which will give you the slope of the surface. Which also means we're going to keep y fixed. And then find the rate of change of z when x changes. Means rate of change of z with respect to x. That is partial differentiation of z with respect to x. So now we are going to fix the y value, y equal to negative 2 all the time. So the green plane show is a plane y equal to 
negative 2. You can turn around. You see that y is equal to negative 2. The y-axis is negative 2. And now you can see how the curve change when you when the plane cut the surface. The intersection between the plane y equal to negative 2 and the surface is shown here. Notice that the intersection is a curve. As the value of x increase, the intersection curve increases, rise up. The rate of change of z with respect to x is measured by the gradient of this tangent line. This is dz dx. The rate of change of z with respect to x while y is always kept at negative 2. And what is this value? We know z is half of x squared minus half of y squared. So dz dx, when y is kept constant, is half times 2x, which is x. Since x is equal to 1, so dz dx is equal to 1 at the point 1 negative 2. This rate of change is positive, integrating that z is increasing with x. We can also show the partial derivative here. Let's turn the graph around. So the graph shows that the tangent line is increasing with x. Similarly, to find the slope of the surface in the y direction at the point 1, negative 2, means to find dz, dy. To visualize the rate of change, fix the x equal to 1. Then, see how the curve change with respect to y. Notice that when y equal to negative 2, as the value of y increase, the value of z also increase. As you can see that the tangent line to the intersection curve at the point y equal to negative 2 is increasing. The gradient is positive. You can confirm this by finding dz dy equal to differential with respect to y half of x squared minus differential with respect to y half of y squared which when you keep x constant you will give 0 minus half times 2y which is negative y and y equal to negative 2, this means that dz dy is minus negative 2, which is 2.